<laughs> man 26 365 days ago I sat near this very spot and talked about my life from 24 to 25 now from 25 to 26 bro a lot has happened in my life um, good bad uh, mostly a lot of self growth self development self healing uh, journaling manifesting and putting out great affirmations into the world the universe uh, prayers whatever makes more sense to you and here we are I survived the Rona uh, it, it's been a lot um, of things going on this year and I'm glad that I'm able to sit here with you guys and give you guys another annual life recap video so to get into this thing um, last year 2020 November 8th I was in a position where I was growing I was healing People saw it in my video where I was like, I was glowing, man. Like I was really in my bag of when it comes to personal development, healing and things of that nature. And that hasn't stopped since. Although recently I have been slacking off in my journaling. Um, I've been dealing with a lot of um, things lately that, you know, we're going to get into, but I need to get back into the things that I first started doing to keep my mental health um, afloat and, um, just on the, the up and up you know what I mean when it's up then it's up fam <laughs> but man uh, what a journey this year has been um, one word that's like on the brink of my mouth pause and like what's been bothering me is the feeling of unappreciated and you know during my YouTube journey from last year to this year and years prior I've just constantly get this feeling of being unappreciated to people I work with to my subscribers um, and I know this might come off as like oh here comes Zosh here comes Percy talking about feeling like he ain't he ain't where he need to be which is facts it's just like I'm very passionate about my career man like being able to be a black man in this white dominated uh, automotive industry um, it, it, it has its struggles in a sense where People don't look at me how they look at other creators with my, you know, stature uh, or statistics or anything of that nature and will give me the, the benefit and give me the shot compared to like some of my peers who get like, you know, great, you know, partnerships and sponsorships and things of that nature. And it's like, damn, what's up? And like I asked this question on Twitter I was like, how come there isn't many successful black automotive YouTubers? And not to me, it's all about a race thing, because it's not. But, I mean, if we're just being honest, you don't really hear about, like, any successful big-time, you know, automotive car enthusiasts. Yes, you have Hurt, but Hurt is a collective of Hoonigan. I'm talking about, like, singularity automotive YouTubers that, you know, do what I do in a sense where, like, I'm my own entity. Like, I'm my own person. I create and vlog. I, I produce all of my own content. Not saying that Hurt doesn't. Or, um, I think, what, Tall Guy Reviews, does, he's, a, like, another successful um, black automotive YouTuber. But they're not in the space where you hear the LZs, the Hunts, the uh, the, the Shankses, the, the David Pattersons. You know what I mean? And I want to be a, I, I want to be that person and I'm trying my hardest to figure out what I do, how to navigate through this industry to be, to have my name in conversation. And it's hard, bro. Like I've been trying, anytime I work with a company, I try to do something where it's beneficial for the people that are watching me so that they can like, you know, it's like a journey. It's like a brotherhood, right? So whenever something great happens to me, I want to at least extend that branch out to you guys like, hey, I, was, I managed to get partnered with this company, but guess what? You did too. Here's a 20% off discount code or, you know, like with Acura, when I got hooked up with Acura at the parts department for 30% off, you guys get 20% off and free shipping in the United States. All you got to do is call and order your part and say that, oh, you watch the Zosh video, you know me. Like I do things that not most other YouTubers do in a sense where like I'd like to give back to the people that made me where I am. And it's like, it's not like it, it's just i just feel so unappreciated and in a sense we're like i'm not growing um like i, I don't want to start off this video talking about you know this youtube stuff and where i feel and where i think i'm gonna go next with it but like this is this is how i do these videos man it just talks about my life and how i feel 
And right now, I don't feel like I want to keep doing this. I don't want to keep doing YouTube anymore. I want I want a new outlet where I can feel more supported and and validated and valued and like feel like I'm I'm worth something. Like my craft and what I do for work is worth it. Like it's valuable to someone and something. And I just don't feel that anymore with YouTube. Like I'm not growing in the last year or so. I've been making around the same amount of money. And now, which I would get into, I have a mortgage now. I have to, I have a house now. Like I have a place where I can call my home and it's shared with me and my girlfriend. Me and my girlfriend um, just got a place together. And you know like i talk about how we met and things of that nature but like i have to do things as a man now to take care of the the family you know what i mean and you know let's say in a year's time or two years time or who knows i have a kid i can't su- i can't survive off youtube like i don't make enough views i don't make enough money i don't have a, i don't have the the a true following that watches my videos and supports it and you know i don't have that so what's going to give and you know i'm going to have to quit this and focus on something that's going to make me feel valued and make me grow and i can earn more money by based off my work like with youtube you can sit there and edit a video all day make it nice and neat and probably get like five thousand views ten thousand views but in your mind it's like man this is like a 400 500 1 million um viewed video that i just curated you know what i mean like when i do my Donald Day videos, I, w- I would love for them to reach like 50k views or 100k views, but they don't. It's like my support isn't there. Maybe they don't want to watch, you know, me work on the same car or me, you know, get new cars and work on them. Like, I don't know what it is. And I just don't want to continue to do this anymore. Like, you know, it's very, like, it's so embarrassing for me. Like, when I think, like, oh, I got 260,000 subscribers or I got 40 something thousand followers but i put out a merch like i put out like um i invest like a lot of money into like the the brand and you know it doesn't sell for like the first day or two day three days like nothing sells like like recently i put out my zashim fg uh shorts like every year i run like a, a release a limited release of shorts last year i think it was gray and black this year was like a nice green with the new logo design on it and i was like oh people's like oh yeah i'm gonna support you bro yeah yeah yada come to find out i dropped the merch nothing like crickets nothing like out of all the supporters i have on youtube or you know friends close friends not out of everyone in my life that you know that's a part of it it's it's crickets it's dead and it's like damn like it's definitely a humbling experience because like I shouldn't feel like, oh, just because I have this amount of subscribers and support system that I, I should expect people to spend their hard-earned money to, like, support, you know, the, the brand. But then you go, on, you go on social media, you see fellow you automotive YouTubers, like, make GoFundMes for whatever the case it may be. And they get, like, $50,000, $40,000, $30,000 off personal things of like oh my car crashed or something here's a gofundme or this that and happened and it's like damn like not saying that it's wrong for them to do that but like it's crazy that that the support that they get and it's like i can't even sell like oh, a, a, sh- a pair of shorts it, it's just like and like i have people constantly hitting me up so i'll shoot the go bro i love your channel i love your videos keep going do that and third it's like how can i keep doing this stuff if there's like nothing in return for me like i'm just pouring all my water into something that's not gonna pour back you know what i mean i like to pour into things that pour back into me it's like a it's like recycling like the recycling arrow you once you give you get what you give right that's the saying we all hear you get what you give and whatever i give i don't get or maybe i do but it's not in a way where like it's beneficial to you know still be able to create content and things of that nature all in all, I'm just I, I just feel like unappreciated, um, and it's not have to be about you guys. It's just like me, like damn, I, I don't know, I'm not growing. I don't feel like I'm growing. I feel stagnant. I'm not like making no cool, successful moves. I'm not getting myself in the industry. I'm not closing on deals. I'm not. I'm not. I'm like I'm. It, it's just like I'm tired of living the same life that I've been living during YouTube stuff. And I think it's time for me to like hang this shit up, man. I think it's time for me to just. You know, quit this and then find something that I really, you know, would feel more valued at. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know. Like, I just have to figure that next step out.
because I don't think this is gonna work out. I tried. I'm, I'm holding on the most I can. And for most guys, to be, that's gonna be like in the comments, like, "Yo, Zosh, why not? Why not just get a nine to five? So the different, the reason why I won't like, okay, I will get a nine to five if I don't do this anymore. The, I'm the type of person that like to wholeheartedly put my time and effort into something, right? Like, okay, if I work a 9 to 5, it'd be cool to like, oh, you could do YouTube on the side. So all the momentum and money that I do get from YouTube, that's going to be cut tremendously because YouTube is now a place where you have to upload consistently or if you upload like once a week, you have to make sure you get like 200 to 300,000 views a video. I average like 250 to 275,000 views a month. A month. If I was making 200,000 views a video and let's say I uploaded four videos a month, that's 800 to almost a million views a month. So my check would be nice. But as much as I pour into my videos and try to daily upload and make sure I'm creating great entertaining content, it's not it's no return on investment. I'm not I'm not making enough money to to keep the builds going, to buy new parts, to to go travel here to do this video or, or collab with this person or do this and that. that takes money and I don't have the support system as other YouTubers that you may see who can do that. I can't do that. So what I have to do is I have to focus on something new to, you know, to make more money. And I want to give a huge shout out right now to Eric and all the guys over at Action Clutch because they actually send me a check a month based on people buying uh, clutch kits with my discount code. They're the only sponsor company that pays me for what I was able to do for them, get commission checks. And they're the only company that does that. And I work with a lot of companies that I believe in and they're the only ones that help me. And I'm so thankful because at times when like, my mom need extra help with the bills and like, oh my God, damn, a lot of money. I just spent all my money on my merch and things of that nature. That money comes in handy so many times and I'm so thankful and I just wish that like, if most sponsors I work with were like, hey Zosh, man, we appreciate what you did for us. Here's like, you know, we'll send you like 10% or 5% of sales based on, you know, your discount code. I will be okay. I will be afloat. I will be fine because I make a lot of these companies money and I don't get shit in return besides product. And that's okay because that's what like, I'm a black kid in a JD market. People look at me and like, damn Zosh, you're doing it, bro. You're successful. You're this, that, and the third. Bro, you're working with Hybrid Racing. You're working with Action Clutch. You're working with Alpha Injection. You're working with JB Tune. Yeah, it's cool and all. Like, it's great. Like, I'm I'm amazed that I was able to do this. But I'm a dope person. Like, I know who I am. I know what I can do. And I know what I can provide these companies. So, like, I worked my ass off for it. I don't, I don't get handouts. I work for this shit. I truly work for this stuff. I build relationships with people. I'm a great fucking dude. <laughs> So like I I know how it may look from you guys like damn Zosh living a life bro you don't have to work a job but it, it's not all fun and games bro like I'm struggling I am a struggling dude and I try my best to do things to like put money in my mom's pockets make sure the house is taken care of I try to do all these things I just don't have the support so I have to find something now to give like so I can make extra money revenue so I can you know do the things I want to do in life and provide content and you know live out my dreams but I don't know how to do it I, I can't do it without help you know what I mean and it's just like I don't know I just that's just how I feel I feel like you know this year going into next year possibly might be one of my last years of like, like full-on creating content because I can't afford to do it anymore I have to I'm 26 now I have to grow up man I can't I can't keep chasing the dream that doesn't want to, you know, want to be chased or caught. You know what I mean? I can't do it. So that's that on the YouTube side of things. Now, my personal life, I met a beautiful girl June 6th at a car show where me and Fred was going to go. Well, we ended up going, but we wasn't going to go. But then we ended up going last minute. And then, like, it just it's crazy how, like, I was writing in my journal, like, what I want, like, the type of woman I want, how I want, like, my woman to be, this, that, and the third. And she, like, she came out of nowhere uh like I, man it's, it's just crazy like i really met someone that generally have my best interest you know what i mean like creating boundaries with somebody you know like from the jump when we first started talking um i asked her all types of questions man like i i was like 
I'm one of those people that if I'm going to invest time with, into you and things of that nature, I need to know exactly who you are straight up. So I'm asking you all the the craziest questions, the real personal questions and things of that nature so I can know like, you know, what type of vibe we're going to have moving forward and things of that nature. And like, it was just beautiful, man. We would stay up to like five o'clock in the morning for like a week straight, just talking about childhoods, this, that, and the third. And this is like the third and fourth day we met each other. And it felt like I've known this person my entire life. Like, it just felt so right. And it comes with, you know, all the experiences I've been through in life with people. You know, you meet people to help you on your path and your journey. To help you understand who you are as a person um, as moving forward. And I'm so thankful that I was able to go through all these experiences and not have anything negative to say about them. Um, because you never want to say anything negative about a negative experience because that, you know, in return gives you the type of character that, you know, you're going to become. So based off, you know, what you go through and how you choose to go through those things says a lot about your character. So my character is A1 since day one. I never talked bad about anybody I've been with in a sense where like I'm, I'm publicly humiliating them talking down upon them never that that's just so childish and garbage like you never want to do that i use my experiences as like being a crappy boyfriend to this girl or being this to this person i use that to benefit like why am i like this why why was i like this and i had to go through a lot of self-healing self-development understanding that i have father issues i have mother issues i felt abandoned as a child i didn't feel loved like there wasn't really loved in our in, in our household because you know my parents didn't grow up like that and things of that nature so you have to break that generational curse and i'm pretty sure most of us are fighting that this this is like the best generation that i i can think of that like are fighting these curses put onto us by our grandparents our great-grandparents our ancestors things of that nature and it's just it's a beautiful thing to see what's on the other side of that wall that you built you know what i mean like once you allow yourself to feel worthy and feel like you're deserving you will carry yourself as such always speak highly of yourself no don't ever joke about oh i'm stupid or i'm dumb never say like oh i'm enlightened i'm intelligent i'm this i'm that i'm grateful i am blessed to be here i'm beautiful i'm gorgeous keep when you say things like that even though you don't believe it you will start to believe it because you're going to start seeing yourself in a different light your mindset will alter you will just become a better and a positive thinking person and then you will attract exactly the person that you're becoming so whatever you feel like is coming into your life you feel you should feel deserving of it when you meet people you meet them for a reason whether to be with you to teach you to reach you whatever the case may be allow those people in your life and learn from what you've been through and how to treat people and how you treat yourself to treat those in your life. And I guarantee you will live a happy and loving life. You're going to have ups and downs. I've been with my girl for approximately six months. I don't know, half a year now. I can't remember. And um, we're, we're, we're moving in together. And most people will be like, man, that's that's crazy. Oh, oh yeah. But you won't know until your experience is pinpoint you where you need to be in your life when i look at people moving in with each other or getting married a month after or two months after i just be like man them people are crazy as hell because that's what society wants you to believe but if people if two people are sure and you can't you can't depict what two people's experiences are together you don't know how these people are together you just have to be there and like damn that's crazy like that's beautiful it's a beautiful thing when you go through things and whatever you you wrote down in your journal that you want to manifest and it actually happens you take full advantage of it don't be scared don't be like oh what if it doesn't work out oh what if it no full send full send all right full send and whatever you want to do just you be smart about it think about it talk to your partner about it talk to whomever in your life about it and you know just have people there in your corner to back you up and it, like I'm, I'm i'm happy man like i'm a truly happy person uh, my family's healthy. Everything is moving the way I want it to. I just have to figure out how to, you know, use my skills to my advantage and create more income for me, my mom, my family, my girlfriend. Like, I want to be able to take care of the people in my life because as a man, you are a provider. You should be able to provide. That's what makes us men feel like men. We can't sit back and let other people take care of us. That's not that's not alpha. That's beta shit. You're an alpha male, yo. Like you have to be able to be on your grind and hustle and I hustle my ass off every single day. And I just have to figure out I got to move smarter, not harder. You have to move smart. Work 
Working hard doesn't mean shit if it's not smart. Okay? Yeah, you can work hard, but if you're working hard and you ain't making no no type of growth in it, what are you doing? You're not working as smart as you should be, and that's what I need to do. So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen on from, you know, this point out, but I have to make more money, man. I have to do what's right as a man moving forward. I'm 26. I'm getting closer to 30. I need to have kids before 30. I want kids before 30. If I have a kid in 2023 or 2022, I can't supply off these $1,000 plus YouTube checks. Twelve hundred dollars here, fourteen hundred dollars here. No, I need to make, I need to be making at least three grand plus a month in order to sustain a lifestyle where I can continue to put money into my business, into YouTube, so I can create, create, create. I want to open up a shop with my homie Randy, man. Like I want to do things that's gonna put my whole team on, you know. Like I want to be the chain to link us all together, and I can't do that if I'm not using my skills and resources to my advantage in the way I want to so if I have to outsource jobs or like you know do whatever it takes to to live the life that I feel like I deserve and I have to do it and you know I just hope that like you know from from 26 to 27 I found a way to make income I found a way I, I found a support system that's right for me whether it's like me making a twitch account and finding my true following on twitch or whatever the case may be where I can use my skills my personality my humor my editing skills my videography skills anything like that to genuinely give me happiness and love of what I do then I'm gonna do it I just wish it was YouTube man I wish you know I was able to have the support system that I deserve or feel like I deserve because like I'm always there for others I'm always there to answering you know subscribers or fans uh dms about this and like oh man I love you bro like it, it's I loved it and it, it's nice to feel like people got my back you know what I mean it, it's a it's a beautiful thing I just got to figure out how to turn it into like monetary support man and I hate that like in this day and age now money is everything like you can't live without money you can't do anything without money everything requires money and it just sucks man so like you look at me a guy with all these subscribers and barely making income compared to people that's having thousands upon hundreds of thousands of less subscribers and they're killing it I gotta support them man it's beautiful I still always feel jealous and envy of like the bigger YouTubers like, man, if I had their support, man, this should be crazy. But I learned to just embrace, like, it's a beautiful thing to see other people live out their dreams, man. Like, imagine waking up every day, loving what you do, driving your dream cars, working on your dream cars, having your best friend own a shop with, you know, what I mean? it's, it's a, you can't hate on it. You, you gotta support it and love it. And that's what I've been doing for the past two years. And, you know, it, it's, it, it's cool, man. Like. Whatever my life leads me, uh, whatever I do next, I just hope that like I found a way and it works, you know. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I don't know, man. That's just how I feel from 25 to 26. I had the coronavirus, survived that. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a crazy ass year. It's been a crazy ass year, but I'm glad I'm here. Um, if you're watching this video, I'm glad you're still here watching it. Um, I appreciate every single one of y'all, man. Thank y'all for always tuning in, watching the videos. Um, yeah, man, I guess we'll just see what happens next. I don't know. But, uh, I thank you guys for watching. I guess I closed the video here. I feel like I said everything I wanted to say. Um, talked about my girlfriend, who's a beautiful woman. So beautiful. She loves me. And like it, it, I look at her and I'm like, like it's just, it's it's beautiful what, how powerful the tongue could be. Pause. Pause. No, it's not pause. That's straight. But like when you speak things into existence and it happens, it's beautiful to be like, damn, I wanted this and now I got it. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's a it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. But I'll leave you with this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. We'll see what happens from 26 to 27. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the birthday um, shout outs in the comments below on our Instagram or my post or anything of that nature. I really thank you guys and I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for watching and I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.